We're back again as we are each and every week. And I, I don't want to run it into the ground when I say I'm excited, but I'm legit excited. So the person we have as a guest today, everybody knows him. You know about the things he's doing. He's in the media for a lot of different reasons, has three sons. I'm going to give it three who are pros, NBA, he jo- and the CEO, founder, big baller brand, Mr. LeVar Ball joins us on The Pulse today. How are you, sir? Hey, what's going on, man? Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Appreciate you doing it. Right before we got started, I was talking to you about the fact that rumors started circulating. The Hornets fired their coach. Right. And, and the rumors come out that you're in line to be the coach. And people, people bought into it. Why wouldn't they? Right. They know I can coach. This is so easy. You just got to get the best out of your players, and I'm very good at that. I'm very good at that, man. Everybody be like, oh, but LeVar ain't coached in the NBA. Boy, it's not that hard to coach. You act like this stuff is hard. If you're going to play offense and you're going to be very fast, you got to push that ball, you got to run every single time. But if you don't know if you're going to play fast or slow or see the mentality that a lot of people have is when they get in front and you're up by 20 points in the second half, the mentality is, hey, they can't beat us, they can't come back. So let's slow down and go by possession. You're hurting my nerve. You have to be 20 possessions to catch us. See, that's not the mentality of my boys and when they're all together. The mentality is if we up 20, shoot, by the third quarter, we better be up 30. You're hurting my heart right now, sir. You're hurting my heart because I'm in Philly, and the Sixers have have struggled with that that put-them-away mentality. Yes, because you got to be thinking. Here's the thought. You've been thinking while I'm up, but – why would you slow down if that's what got you up playing fast and smart? Let's stay the same way no matter what. And if I ever coached in the goddamn pros, they have a new thing coming. And you know what it would be? I'd be the only guy to press, and they wouldn't be ready for it. And we start the pulse always asking guests, particularly people who have done as many things as, as you've done. Right. Everybody out there has tried to define you one way or another. Everybody in the media... Uh, how do you define yourself? How do I define myself? Yes. One of the coldest suckers on two feet. Ain't, ain't but two people better than me, and I'm both of them. <laughs> okay. Were you always this guy? I mean, we know about oh, you in the public life. Was this always I, you, even before the public started knowing about you? Before all that, they just put them cameras in front of my face, but I ain't changed. I've always been the same. I've always been the same. That's what folks don't get. They say, man, I'm catching a different way sometime. No, you're not. I'm like this all the time. So and what's wrong with it? It's just me. Well, but you, you know, know? It, but it's interesting you say that because when you when we first started learning about you publicly, mm-hmm. that the whole what's wrong with it, there were a lot of people who had a lot of opinions about the in quotes pressure you were putting on on these young guys, on your children. Mm-hmm. Now, however many years later, you got two top three picks. You got yes. another who, if we're being honest, probably should be in the NBA right now. He's no, he's going to be in the NBA. It's just he had to take a different route on the fact that when you do something differently, here's the thing. Jello did something different, so he got to take a different route. Now, if he would do the same thing, I probably wouldn't be in the place that I'm in. What I mean by that is everything would be completely different if it wasn't for Jello taking him glasses. Because then I don't take him out of school. Then I don't go overseas. Then I don't get no water. I don't. I don't do a lot of other things without Jello doing something bad. So we had to take some step backwards for me to shoot forward. Why to understand you? and make the JBA to say, you know what, ain't gonna be no JBA if Lonzo wanted done. Jello don't steal nothing. He wanted done. Melo go to UCLA. He wanted done. I don't worry about nobody else. I don't worry about the brand too much. I'm just let my boys get their money and we go like that. As opposed to me turning into this guy now who has a brand, who's not selling his brand, and going forward with other things. So so this is, I'm just getting started. This is what folks don't understand. Because we've, we've seen the videos, we've seen the, the TV show, the, the Facebook show, uh, and Mello particularly was involved mm-hmm. really young. Like he was playing with his older brothers really young. Even then, you were talking about you got three NBA stars. Right. What, what I told my boys from day one, for me picking my wife, that's what people don't understand. I didn't go get me a little shorty. I got me a stallion. 
six one. I'm gonna have some basketball players. And it's not like she a volleyball player. She played basketball. So she got the same, you know, same values that I have. She could sit in the gym all day and not be like, oh, I gotta go hang out with the girls. I'm tired of doing this. You gotta do this for 19 years. And I ain't had to tell her like, you know, that's a foul. Why is he taking the ball out? Well, why are you even make a three-pointer? She know the game. So when I ain't got to explain it to her like that, even she was the only girl in the AAU that was my assistant coach. It was husband and wife <laughs> for a long time. So Melo getting knocked down. Tina was, and you got to have a perfect woman to do this because she's a mother. And if, if Melo is, you know, six, seven years old, playing against sixth graders, and they knock down, most mothers be like, oh, don't hurt my baby. Tina was like, and, and being a white lady, get your ass up. That type of thing. Never babied them. So we never had no, no, where let's say they lose one game and, and my, my boy Lonzo would have triple double, Joe would have 30 points, Melo had 20 points and we lose. And I'd be like, Melo, you didn't do your job. You only had 20. We need you to have 24. Jello, we need you to have 40. Lonzo, we need you to have 50 rebounds. And she was never like, well, you guys did a good job. Your dad is just mad. She was like, man, you should have passed that ball. We would have won that on that pass. So, so we give it to them from both sides, but it's never like lopsided where I'm on them hard and then she's softening them up. Like you guys did a re- you scored all the points. You did everything you could. She never was like that. She was always on my side. Early on, there were some who thought it, it was overbearing. It, it was crazy. It, has that image changed? Have you has stopped having to answer those questions now that people can sit back and well, see the I result? Never, I never to answer those questions because when you look at it uh the way my boys is in the nba i took out that element which was so-called pressure and, and and let me explain it to you like this uh where does your talent come from your talent comes from the hood it comes from the ghetto okay. you don't go to beverly hills or thousand oaks or to a high-ranked district and be like man i'm trying to get me a hell of an athlete think about it all these all these heck of athletes come you know, even from Magic Johnson to, to Derrick Rose, to, to anybody, they was in poverty or needed something. So now you got this 18, 19 year old kid and you telling them, yo, I need you to make it to the NBA because you can carry our family. We in Chino Hills with swimming pools. They driving to school with Cadillacs and Escalades. They not wanting nothing. So for me to give them that mentality, I took that away where it was like, Son, I don't need you to put us on your back and, and get us out of Chino Hills or no swimming pools and all. We already good. But I have I lived in Chino Hills, but I got a South Central mentality. That's what my boys have. So they like camouflage. They play very hard. Yeah. But it's hard to to, to get somebody who got so much and, and, and really make them be like some killers. I got three killers. They all get together, it's gonna be a wrap.